It's always tough to come up and play Kilmarnock at Rugby Park. Are you pleased with the performance today? Hey, I think parts of the performance, certainly second half, we improved and took control of the game. And I think defensively we were good today, solid. Didn't really give many chances away. They did get a couple, but I thought overall we were good in that side of the game. But it was just important to win. That was the biggest one. Just wins now are more important than performances. You could feel the goal coming. Um, could you feel that yourself? The urgent goes on to keep pushing. Yeah, we'd had a good spell at that point. Down the right-hand side, Kirsten McIntosh really started to get into the game. We managed to get more better quality out there on that side and then uh, obviously it was MT who showed a great bit of play, wriggling uh, past the defender and getting the cross in and I'm delighted for Dion coming on, she's been working really hard and in and out of the team at the start and she's not been in, in the team the last few games but you know as a squad we don't, I wouldn't say uh, somebody's always going to be playing and our team is going to be players in and out and it was a great moment for her to go in and uh, nick the game for us. Um, and I think we should have then killed it off after that, which was the disappointing side of it. What was your message to the girls in the park as they were trying to hang on at the end? There? I think we, we said to work that right-hand side, but it was really frustrating because we had done it and we'd managed the game really well. And then all of a sudden, we had a throw-in just in front of us. We went backwards with it instead of going forward. And that had been killing us all game. Anything going backwards or square. And then we turned over the ball and then a few late challenges and before you know where they've got a free kick right on the edge of the box. And it was just like, how's that happened? Um, so that was a little bit frustrating and then obviously they ended up getting a corner. And it was delayed, please Lauren, for Lauren. She made a couple of big catches today at corners, took the pressure off uh, to get the clean sheet. And that was, you know, that was the most important factor. You're looking forward now to try and get some more wins in the league and, and push on? Yeah, obviously that's uh, the first round of fixtures over. Um, and it's been a tough. It was a tough start, uh, you know. Getting up, taking a while to get the first win, but now we've got a few wins under our belt. I think the confidence is starting to come back to the squad and belief. I think the belief in the squad is starting to really come back. And uh, we now move into uh, Hearts next week in Thistle, who are uh, two of the stronger teams in the league. Obviously, Thistle are still unbeaten, so it's going to be really difficult. There's no easy game. You see, every game is tight. One 0 today, uh, two one in our last game. It's just going to be a matter of making sure we do the right things and uh, give ourselves the best possible chance. But we're really looking forward to it. Uh, next week will be hard. Hearts obviously beat us in the first game, which I thought was probably the best, some of the best football we've played this season, and it was probably one of the best games of football of the season uh, in terms of the quality from both teams. Um, and so hopefully we can uh, raise our game for that next week as well. Thanks very much, Gary. Cheers.